You know, I've been using spreadsheets since the early 80s, and that is the 1980s, not the 1880s, though I may look like it's the 1880s. I've actually been teaching spreadsheets uh, since about 1990 or so, maybe even a little bit before that. And, you know, I learned a lot of things just to teach them. Um, and I do use spreadsheets a lot. And the other day I had an occasion to uh, learn a little bit more about a function that I you know, knew was there, but I actually found an, op an application for it, a reason to use it. In fact, I was very, very annoyed until I remembered about this particular function. Well, the function is the offset function. And I'm going to go ahead and show you why I needed to use it. And hopefully it'll be something that you can use as well in your own worksheets. So let me give you an example here. All right, so let's assume that we have uh, Joe's Hardware, and Joe's Hardware reports daily sales of all the items that, uh, the categories of the items that he sells, the sockets and sprockets and lockets and nails and pails and, and so on. Well, we have in this case sales for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We have, what I'm interested in is, you know, how much difference was Thursday from Wednesday. I'm interested just in the next day. I'm not interested in past, at least with this with this worksheet here. So let's look at the formula that I've used here. The formula that I have is essentially Thursday's socket sales minus Wednesday's socket sales. All right, that makes sense. It, it, it's a copyable formula. When I copy it down, the formula adjusts to you know, wherever it needs to be. And uh, sprockets, uh, sockets become sprockets, and sprockets become lockets, and, and so on and so forth, because that's exactly what's supposed to happen when you copy a formula. Now, when you don't want the cell addresses to change, and I've covered this in, in other videos, you use the absolute reference, the dollar signs in the cell addresses. Well, this is what I want to do, though. What I want to do is I actually want to insert a column here. And I want to put Friday here. And I want to enter a number here for Friday. And again, what I'm interested in is the difference between Thursday and Friday. And of course, this is an increase. The problem is, when I inserted this column, I moved the formula. Now, when I move the formula, it just adjusts to its new home. And it's still subtracting Thursday and Wednesday. It's still comparing those values, which is which is not what I want in this case. So when I realized what was happening here, I said, "Well, I, you know, I'll do this. I'll go ahead and erase it here, and I'll build my formula again. And this time it's Friday minus Thursday, and, and that worked okay. Uh, copy it all the way down, and again, you know, that works real nicely. Use the fill handle, I'll get a grand total, and I can go ahead and pop in the values." Well, this worked okay. I, and actually, I was actually working with days of the year for my own application. And I was doing this every day, and I was getting really tired of having to do it. So what I learned was a practical application for the offset function. Now, I'm going to redo this formula. Now, the offset function actually makes the cell addresses, or can make the cell addresses in the formula, variable. And so instead of saying, Thursday minus Wednesday, and when I move this to, you know, no matter no matter where I move it, it's always going to be Wednesday minus Thursday. Let me just illustrate that real quick and move it way over here, and it's still um, Wednesday from Thursday differences. So what I want to do is I want to say, okay, take the cell immediately to my left, and from that subtract the cell two columns to the left. And that's what the offset function does. And it does an excellent job of doing that. So let me show you how I could actually do this using the offset function. And then once I have the offset function in here, I can insert as many columns as I want. And the formula will always adjust and, and incorporate the new day or new week or new month, new whatever I'm happy to put in here. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and put in a formula here in cell F3 that is a little bit more relative. And what I want it to do is I want it to subtract the value that is two columns to my left from the value that is one column to my left. Now, I'm going to start with an equals, and I'm going to use the offset function. Now, I could use the you know the insert function, and that gives me the little blanks to fill in. In this case, oh, I, I just like to type it in, and you have a little tool tip to tell me what comes next. OK, so the next variable or argument that we need here is the reference. Now, we're saying offset from a specific reference. In other words, what do I use as a guide to know how many rows and how many columns to go to get the value that I'm looking for? Well, in this case, I'm interested in 
the values that are next to cell F3. So my reference is going to be cell F3. So I'm saying offset from cell F3. Then I go ahead and put in a comma and now it says okay how many rows do you want me to offset from F3 and if I put in a negative one well then it would be one row up if I put in negative two it would be two rows up or if I put in one it's going to go down in this case though the row that I want is the same row I'm in I want it to be row three so I want it to offset exactly zero rows then I'll put in another comma to go to the next argument here it says okay what column do I want well I'm going to be subtracting in this case um, Thursday first and I'm going to subtract Wednesday from that so Thursday is one column to my left so I'll put in minus one for columns go back one column now I'm not going to worry about the height and the width I could use that if I was going to uh, refer to an array and I'll probably create another video to show you how to do that here but that's it so in this case I'm instead of simply saying e3 I'm saying offset from cell f3 zero rows and negative one or one column to the left okay I'll close that then I want to subtract okay this is Thursday essentially now I want to subtract Wednesday from that and so I'll use the offset again All right, again, the reference is still the same. I'm still working with cell F3. I want everything in relation to F3. The rows is still, the row is still zero. But in this case, I want negative two for the column. So instead of saying E3 minus D3, I'm saying offset from cell F3, zero rows and one column to the left and subtract from that offset from cell F3, same row, but two columns to the left. Well, let's go ahead and see if it works. I'll press enter and there I've got a value. Now, I did tell you that if I copied this, it would work. Well, let's go ahead and prove that. I'm going to go ahead and copy it all the way down. Let's verify that it works. Okay, F4. F5 so everything looks like it's working in fact I have the same values I had just a second ago but here's the beautiful thing about this when I insert a column now it will adjust but let's prove it here all right I'm going to go ahead and insert I'm going to go ahead and type in Friday now notice the numbers that I have here are exactly Thursday's number because I'm subtracting them from zero okay so I have a negative uh, 286 0 minus 286 of course is that negative 281 281 excuse me 65 all right so I'm gonna put in 300 for Friday sales for sockets it worked all right let's try $75 for sprockets all right you, you got the idea here and the cool thing about this is I can now go in insert it again I can put in Saturday here and when I put in Saturday here well guess what let's put in 500 here it refers to the value for Saturday okay so that's how you use the offset function uh, very useful and very actually easy to use once you understand it um, it's not something you're going to use every day like I said I've you know it's been a lot of years before I actually found an application where I can use it but in my application it actually works perfectly all right thank you very much for watching this video if you did like it please consider liking it uh, you can find instructions step-by-step -step instructions uh, and many more videos on my website luthermaddy.com thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video